Hey everybody, welcome back to Boomerangs by Vic. I'm Vic, and this is my channel. I build boomerangs for a living. If you've never been to my channel, um, I have a lot of videos on here that show you how to build wooden boomerangs, a lot, of, a lot that I actually sell on my website. Uh, and I also build boomerangs for people at home that just want to get into the sport and have never done it before and get a general idea. So I built boomerangs in videos that show how to build cardboard boomerangs like this one uh, and this one, a paper boomerang, these all fly in return, popsicle stick boomerang, and this was a fun one. This is a Tupperware dish boomerang made from the cover of an old Tupperware dish. So this is all recycled material. If you want to learn how to build any of these, which are probably way easier than what I'm about to show you here, go to the videos. I'll put the links down in the description. But today what we're going to do is build a boomerang out of a sign that was on my lawn left over from somebody that did some windows for me. And it's a corrugated sign. I've already cut the base off and I'll show you what I did with them. Um, the sign was much larger. It was probably down to here. Rectangle. And all I did was take a ruler, okay, put it on here like this on the edge of the corner, okay? And I want you to draw that right here, okay? So, something basic like this, okay? And you see it leaves behind the ruler. And you're gonna go all the way across your sign and keep repeating that process, okay? So you get several of these. And then the next thing you're gonna do after you've got several of them is you're gonna cut them out. And as you can see down here on my table, I've got several and I got them in, in, uh, in pairs, okay? So this is the basic part of the, uh, the boomerang. So after they're all cut out, this is all you're gonna do for this next part. You're going to look for the bottom of each of these, okay? So I don't know that, so I'm just gonna mix these all up right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to set these down onto my table, okay? And I'm looking for the top side. And on the top side, I'll know because this will want to spin freely. Okay, so we'll check this one. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. Okay, now if I turn that around, it'll probably have drag. Yeah, see, it doesn't wanna, it doesn't really wanna spin that well. So let's turn it over again, and that's definitely way better. What that means is, this is angled up just a little bit, and that's what you want all the wings to do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little uh, let's put a check mark, okay, and that'll tell me that this is the top side of this one. Okay, and you're gonna go through your entire pile of these, and you're gonna do that with each one, okay? So you can see right here, spins nice. Obviously, if I turn that over, it, it doesn't wanna spin, okay? So, same, let's put a check, okay? And do that to all of them, put them in pairs, so you're gonna have piles of two. Um, I ended up with, I think, 10 pairs here, so I'm gonna end up with 10 boomerangs. Um, and this is the piece I had left over. And if you wanna make more, then go ahead and cut more out of the piece that you have left over um, and see how many you end up with. So the next step in this process is putting them together. So like I put a check on the top of these because they're both the top side of the boomerang. Now, you don't have to be picky in this next part, okay? You can tape them together if you want. What I prefer to do is glue them because I want these to last. Tape is going to wear uh, wear off after a while, so all you're going to do is you're going to cross these, okay? And you're going to you're going to glue them together. I almost said tape. Um, I like to use goop. I've used it for years on many different things. It works great. Um, and you're just going to put a dab of that in the middle of your boomerang, just a dab. Take the other piece, set it on top of the glue. Now remember this part here. This does not have to be perfect. It just has to be shaped like uh, a cross or a T, however you think, and get it the closer you can. Because you know what? You can see here, this looks pretty darn close to square. Okay? Whoops, right about there. It looks pretty even. I could glue this like this, and that would still fly in return. I could accidentally glue it like this and be way off. That's still going to fly in return. Okay? So. Don't think this has to be perfect, and I'm not gonna make any of these perfect. I'm gonna eyeball every single one, okay? I'm gonna put that dab of glue. Uh, I'm gonna use a clothes hanger, if you have that at home, and just to hold it together after. Or set it on a table and put some weight down onto it and let it dry, okay? 
So the next thing I show you after I've glued all these is how to airfoil it and how to throw it for a return. Stick around. Okay, and we're back. Everything is dried, it's the next day. I'll let the glue dry really good on all these boomerangs. As you can see, they're all ready for the airfoiling. Okay, so here's another step you gotta do before we airfoil them. Um, you'll notice after you've cut these into your pieces that there's an open edge right here. And this is a place where actually air is going to hit and get trapped into this, okay? So you're gonna have to take a piece of tape. I'm gonna show you if you're a lefty or a right. If you're a right-handed person and you've marked the top of your boomerang, like I told you already, you can't see, I got a little, let me get one that actually shows it. This one here is the top of the boomerang. I put a little dot, okay? Because you've remember determined the top and bottom as far as how the wings bend and go up. You want them upwards. So this is the top side and we're gonna show you how to do the righty. Okay, so a right-handed boomerang, every wing has a lead and a trail. So this is a right-handed top side. This is the lead edge. This is the trail edge. So the air is gonna hit here first and trail over here. Same on this one and every other one. So what you're gonna do, because this is right-handed and the air is gonna hit here first, you're gonna take a piece of tape and run it down across this edge and fold it over and seal it. Okay, just this edge. You don't have to do the back edge, just the front edge. If you're a left hand thrower, then you're gonna do this side, okay? So do that on all your boomerangs. Tape this edge if you're righty, tape this edge if you're lefty. Now, for airfoiling it to get it to fly and return, this is what you're gonna do if you're a right-handed person. And I've already done it on one of these boomerangs and I'll show you. Okay, here's a right-handed version, top side. You can see I've put my piece of tape, I get a little piece hanging off here, okay? All the way across here. So it's nice and rounded off so the air can travel up over without getting stuck in here. Because what it was doing, I test through it, it created drag and it didn't want to come all the way back. After I taped it, increased the flight probably by twice um, as far as how good it was spinning. Okay, now, right-handed boomerang, taped off edge, this is my trail. I'm gonna pull it down and you want this side bent down okay so you're going to pinch here okay and you're going to take your hand you're going to bend this plastic down over see how far i'm bending it just on this edge and you can see it kind of stayed down a little bit and you're going to do that on all four wings and i've already done it on this one okay bend it down this one's down okay and that's it this boomerang is done and it's ready to fly for a right-handed person if you're left-handed, you're going to do the opposite. You've taped this edge off, like I told you, and you're going to bend this side down on every wing, and that's going to make it a lefty, okay? And when I go outside to throw this, I'll show you in the video how I actually throw and release it. So we're going to take, after I finish doing all the rest of these with airfoiling them and taping them, I'm going to take them outside and show you how they all fly. Okay, everybody, here we are outside because I could not throw these indoors. It makes a little bit too big of a flight. It was really close. It kept skimming the wall, so I said, well, I'll just go outside and throw them. Okay, so they're all airfoiled. Um, I have not thrown them all. I've only thrown that first one I told you I test flighted, and I had to put tape on one side. These are all for right-handed people. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to throw for a right-handed person. You're going to do a pinch grip, okay, about like what, you sh what I'm showing here. Just pinch it. Okay, let it let set these down. Let the boomerang roll back here. Okay, don't hold it out here because it won't get as much spin. If you put it here, you'll get more spin when you release. Okay, so like this. And when you release, you're going to throw it just a little bit off a of vertical, about like that. Okay, throw it a little high. It'll go around, make a circle, and come back to you. Okay, I'm going to throw all 10 at now. Actually, let me wait a second. I'm going to show you if you're a lefty. If you're a lefty, top side, you're going to throw it the same way. Little pinch grip only you're going to angle it this way, okay? Righties are like this, lefties are like this, okay? Same thing, it's going to go around this way, and your airfoils are different. I showed you how to do that in a video. Okay, now we're going to throw them. I've only thrown one of these for a test flight. All the rest are going to be a test, so everybody gets to see what's going on here. Okay, there's not much wind right now, so this should work pretty good. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Oh, 
hope I got that all in the video. They're all coming back. They're all flying pretty good. Landed a different place. Of course, no boomerang will ever fly the same. Um, now let's try that once, and I'm going to throw them all at the same time. Let's see what happens. Okay, I got my camera setting on a tree branch here. Hopefully it doesn't fall. I got a little bit of breeze. It's coming at me like this, so I'm going to throw them all. There's 10 boomerangs right here. It'll probably be crazy. Who knows what'll happen, but it'll be fun. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that was pretty neat. Okay. It's fun. Well, everybody, hope you enjoyed the flights of the corrugated cardboard boomerangs. And don't forget, if you also want to try to build a popsicle stick, Tupperware, paper, or a cardboard boomerang, all very simple. I'll put the links down in the description. Thanks for stopping by. Please share and like my videos. Um, that's about it. Thanks, everybody. See ya.